Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G, which is uh, this device right here, um, using Green Poison on Mac or Windows. Basically the same program on both systems, but iPod Touch 2G users have been left out a lot, and I know a lot of you guys have the device, so I'm going to go ahead and make this video for it. But to understand that um, that's what this video is especially for, but it also works with iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, um, all the devices in the description are supported by this program running 4.0 to 4.1. So here we go, let's go ahead and open up Safari here. And let's go ahead and go to the Green Poison website, which go to the link in the description because you don't want to go to a scam website. And go ahead and download it for Mac. It's a quick download, shouldn't take long. And let's go ahead and open up the program here. Let's see here. Downloads, we're going to open up Green Poison. So what we need to do first is we need to turn off our device. So let's go ahead and turn off our device, iPod Touch right here. Let's go ahead and turn it off and wait till it turns off completely. As you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the screen is still on and now it's turned off. So we're going to put this in DFU mode here and what you need to do is uh, just follow my instructions. So we're going to go ahead and press these for 8 seconds, uh, power and home, and then release the power button. So here we go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button. And we're going to go ahead and keep an eye on the screen. As you can see, it's in DFU mode because iTunes just popped up and we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. Now that it's in DFU mode, we're going to go ahead and uh, let me get this right here. We're going to hit jailbreak. So it's jailbreaking right now. There's the white screen, which means it's working. Let's go ahead and let it do it. Let it do its thing here. And um, pretty soon here, um, looks like. Hold on. Pretty soon here, it will be uh, done. It's going to exit out of iTunes once again. And it says complete. Now it's running a bunch of code down the screen, which is the second part of the jailbreak. It would have been better if they put a logo to cover all this up, so it might freak you out. Don't worry, guys. It's what's supposed to happen. As you can see, it's complete, so we can go ahead and exit out of the program. Or I'll go ahead and leave it up for purposes of the video and let it run through its uh, stages. And um, basically what it's doing is it's uh, doing some of the jailbreaking part and then it's doing the untethered part made by Comex. So this is untethered for all devices that are supported in the description. So let's go ahead and let this boot up here. I won't cut the video just to show you that it does boot up. Um, yeah. Oh, and while you're at it, just so you know, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get subscribers, followers, all the usual. Just trying to get some more subscribers and followers, and uh, that will that will help support future AppOSX giveaways. So stay tuned for uh, upcoming giveaways and stuff like that. Especially uh, one for Christmas. There will be a definitely a giveaway for Christmas. All right. So as you can see, it turned on. We have uh, if we go over here, we have this app called Loader. So we're going to go ahead and launch up the app. I'm already connected to Wi-Fi. You need to be connected to Wi-Fi to do this. We're going to tap Cydia, and we're going to hit install Cydia. It's going to download here. Go ahead and exit out of this uh, green poison. We don't need it anymore. All right. It's going to download, and then it's going to go ahead and, and extract, then install. So after this installs, it will respring. Um, and it says, do you want to remove loader from your device? This is totally up to you. I don't in case I ever need to reinstall Cydia. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And then we are going to go ahead and hit the home button and it will automatically respring our device. So let's let it respring here. As you can see, the icon for whatever reason doesn't pop up until after you respring. All right. As you can see, it's booted up or resprung. I don't know what it did. And as you can see, we have Cydia right there. You can go ahead and open it and go ahead it will do the reorganizing stuff like that but pretty much from there on out you guys should know what you're doing so yeah that's it please give this video a thumbs up subscribe somewhere up there 
follow me on Twitter at Apo6. All this stuff helps uh, for giveaways and stuff like that. And uh, thanks for watching.